What are the different types of bread used in Mexican tortas? What is the difference between these different versions of bread? And how does it affect the taste of the torta that is made with them? Mexican tortas. Ah, you bring up a topic after my own heart, or stomach more accurately. Tortas are to Mexico what the mighty sub is to the U.S. But let's talk about the bread because good lord it's a game changer. Traditionally, the bread used for tortas is called a bolillo, or a talera. These types of bread have a European influence, dating back to the time when the French had their hands in Mexico during the 1860s. Bolillo. Bolillos are crusty on the outside and soft on the inside. They're essentially the Mexican version of a baguette, but are shorter and plumper. Their sturdy crust holds up well under the pressure of all the fillings, including the onslaught of beans, avocados, and the occasional fiery chili sauce. Talera. Taleras are similar to bolillos, but with a key difference. They're a bit softer and rounder. They have a faintly sweet taste and are less crusty. A talera is easily distinguishable by the two slightly indented lines that run along the top, almost like it's showing you where to cut it open to work your sandwich magic. Birote. A less commonly found but a very intriguing bread is the birote. This one originates from Guadalajara and is known to be a little more sour and salty, a far cry from the subtle sweetness of the talera. It's also pretty tough and crusty, which makes it perfect for soaking up sauces without getting soggy. When it comes to taste, each of these breads brings its own personality to the table. The bolillo, with its harder shell, will give you a more pronounced contrast in textures, a play between the crispy exterior and the generous warm fillings. The talera, being softer, melds with the interior ingredients for a more unified bite. As for the birote, its unique flavor can add an unexpected twist to your torta that can be quite delightful. What's essential here is that the bread complements the fillings without overpowering them, and these traditional Mexican breads do just that. A torta isn't just about the carne asada, the milanesa, or the eggs and chorizo. It's about how these ingredients come together with the bread. The bolillo, talera, or barote, they're the unsung heroes of the torta, holding together the vibrant flavors of Mexico in a portable, intensely satisfying meal. And since I'm in Portland, Oregon, it's not always easy to find these specific breads at every corner. But when I do, you can bet I'm snagging a couple. Because nothing beats a well-constructed torta when you're in the mood for a culinary hug from Mexican cuisine.